Whether it's a road trip with friends or a solo journey abroad, ensuring safety is paramount, especially for students traveling without their families. Here to make sure our summer adventures are unforgettable for all the right reasons is Carrie Pascarello, CEO and co-founder of Global Secure Resources. Thank you so much for joining us today. We're so happy to have you, Carrie. Absolutely, Taylor. So happy to be here. Thank you. So when talking about students traveling abroad, you know, sometimes it's the first time traveling without their families. What is the must know before you go? Right. Well, we have we have about five that we love to cover. But the first is doing a travel assessment for the location that you're going to. I think this is a really critical thing to incorporate in your toolkit. And it's a very simple way to kind of look at the various things you're going to be stepping into in the country. If you like, I could expand. Yeah, no, I, I would love that. So do it yourself travel assessment. I mean, what, like what does that all encompass? Right, exactly. Well, for us at Global Secure Resources, we f uh, we focus on 15 critical things you should know before you go. This can cover uh, terrorism, crime, your lodging, environmental issues. But to keep it simple for students when they're doing a, a, a do-it-yourself assessment, we want to make it easy. So we say stick with the five C's, which is country, city, clim uh, climate, crime and culture. So once again, those are the five C's. And if you uh, look, we have fabulous resources for open source research. And this can include uh, social media, it can include local news, perhaps the State Department, or even the OSAC, which is the Overseas Security Advisory Council, which is a fabulous resource. Okay, would you recommend putting all of this in a document and like having it with you, or is this really just so you have the background knowledge? Yes, well, one of the interesting things about, um, you know, teaching students is if you can have them kind of do a touch on various ways of getting information. So if they're writing it out, if they're researching it, if they're talking about it, they're going to retain it more. So I always say start with a document. Start with those five C's. Remember country, city, crime, climate and culture and do some research on each of those topics. Make it in a document and then talk about that with your parents before you leave. Mm. This is a really mm. great start to yeah. keeping yourself yeah. safe as you explore the world. Absolutely. OK, so DIY travel assessment check. What's the next step? OK, next we have to have a communication plan. This is one of the critical elements because if we have a communication plan and we do have a crisis, it's much easier to move to our crisis communication plan when we already have a plan in hand. Mm -hmm. So I always like to start off with establishing a schedule of how often you're going to be calling home, whether it's once a day, once a week, once a month, whatever it is, just set that up. Next, have a distress word uh, in your communication plan. This is just a, a word that if you say this word to your family member, they'll know that there's something going on and they need to investigate a little bit more to see if you're safe and okay. And this is really great if you're, let's say, in a homestay on a study abroad program or with a group of people and somebody's not making you feel safe. You want to uh, be able to express that, but if somebody's right there next to you, you might not be able to. Okay, and now I know that financial, the, the finances are a big part of being able to travel. Where does that come into all of this? Right. So it's really important for you to um, have your financial safety in place. And so this means you want to make sure that you're reaching out and talking to your bank before you leave, because when you get there, you want to make sure that you will have smooth access to your funds. You don't want your credit card canceled while you're abroad. Uh, next, make sure that you're researching ATMs that are, let's say, in your network so that you're not going to be overcharged. You want to make sure that uh, you're understanding how to lock and deactivate your credit card mm -hmm. because let's say you lose it or maybe you just misplaced it you'll want to be able to go onto your app and lock it down for a period of time so you'll have time to find it and maybe it was just misplaced also create alerts on your credit card so you know when uh, transactions are happening absolutely and now carrie so there are you have a book next to you and does that book kind of cover cover the, the basis here 
It does, absolutely. So this is my wonderful book, Study Abroad Safety, A Parent's Guide to Safely Sending Your Child Abroad. All of my details about how to uh, incorporate safety into your conversation is all in this book. How wonderful, Carrie. Well, thank you so much for joining us. I will put the information down below so everyone can find out more information about Global Secure Resources. Thank you so much Under for joining us. It was great talking to you today. Thank you again. Happy travels. Happy travels. We're back in two minutes.